Hi, great people. You are welcome back to the Cultural Journal channel. My name is Ola. We appreciate as many that have been subscribing to this channel. So if you have not subscribed, do it, subscribe today. Thank you. Today we'll be learning how to make a, how to create a keyhole in the yoke of our corsets. So let's go. I've come here with the, the three-piece corset the pattern drops. Yours can be two-piece, so it can be three-piece. But our focus today is on the keyhole. So now we go straight to that point. Um, before we move on, just to let you know that uh, if you want to know more about how to draft this corset, I've already made a tutorial on, on how to make different types of uh, corsets, three-piece corset, two-piece corset. So I will give you the link for uh, three-piece corset so, uh, so that you have more knowledge on it. So let's move to the keyhole part. So to create your keyhole on your, on, I mean, in the yoke of your corset, all you need to do for this type of, we have different type of keyhole, but the one we are making today, all you need to do is to come to the depth of your corset neckline. And the depth of our corset neckline here is seven and a half. This, so you come to this point where we come in with half an inch. So it is this very half an inch that we want to make use of. So having uh, gotten your the depth of your neckline, the next thing you have to do is to come to your um, basic neckline here. You just measure what you are having here. You measure it round. You know this one you are having here is a, a joining allowance. This half an inch up it. So you just measure from here to here. You can see we are having like five inches here. So you get, just get the midpoint of that five inches. You can make it uh, the two and a half. I mean the midpoint. You can step up to like half. You can make it three. So you just mark it. So on it, you just measure like uh, two inches. You measure two inches. Come this way. You mark it here. Yes. So the next thing you do is to grab, your, take your French curl, and you want to connect from here to this uh, half an inch here now. So you just you ensure that you look at it very well to give you suitable result. I think I'm okay with this. So you just connect it. You connect it here. Then. From here as well, you connect to this uh, to somewhere here. So let me see the suitable place to connect it to. From this line, you can just step or I mean step back with like a 1.5, 1.5. So you just take your French curve this way to connect it. Let's go ahead and connect it. Yeah. This is it. So now the next thing is to cut it out. So I'll first of all separate the corset from it. So we might cut out this. Then here I'm going to add the seam allowance to this side you are good to do that even on your fabric so let me just add it to half an inch just the way it is done here This is the already made the corset. This is the way it's going to be attached to it. This is going to be in the center, this way, and then this goes this way. Yeah, this is the way it's going to be. So as it is now, half an inch will be added to this yoke, your yoke here. Half an inch will be added here. Here, half an inch will be added to the 
you know, as a joining allowance to be attached to your to your bodies. All you need to do is to cut out your fabric, cut out the lining, and as you are cutting it out, ensure that half an inch is added here, and half an inch is added here. So you add your half an inch for this uh, area, so that you use this to join your fabric and line it together. So before you go ahead and join it to your bodies. So I'm sure you have uh, enjoyed this video. Give it a like, ensure you like it, share with your friends and family and uh, drop your comment on the comment section and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.